US oil. And we all know how the US oil and the UK oil move hand in hand, as most of the time we normally see um, setups that look very, very similar to what we have on the US, on the UK oil. So what we had here on the US oil yesterday, we saw our price played out. If we are taking advantage of that move early in the week, good for you. You must have been able to make some profit on the US oil. However, if for those who, who missed that move, I was stating here that we, we should hold on because we were around this area yesterday when, when we discussed about the US oil. We were around this area yesterday. So I was suggesting yesterday that we should wait for price to come back down to retest that bearish trend line where we look for reversal patterns on lower time frame to take advantage of a trend continuation to the upside. And the other scenario I made mention of was that if we have a breakout of the $122 key level we identified yesterday, then we look out for a retest of structure or reversal pattern on lower time frame to take advantage of the bullish move. However, all this did not happen as expected as we continue to see price breakdown of that bearish trend line and it appears doing something that looks more like a retracement of the trend line as we head into the UK session this morning. Now, with this, with this new setup here on the time frame, then we also made mention of a possible breakdown of this neckline. That is, we have a breakdown of the neckline here um, a retest of structure, then we take uh, a trend continuation based on the on the reversal pattern identified on a lower time frame. However, some people will have taken this trade. I, um, I had a couple of people who I work I worked with also who took this trade. Yes, who took the selling opportunity this morning because of this. They saw this bearish move. They saw the breakdown of the neckline here and price retested that structure, and we saw. This move to the downside. Well, for me, what I told them immediately was they should move their stop loss to the entry point, as there is be there could be a possibility that this could turn out to become a double bottom structure, which is also a very strong reversal pattern that could send price going to the upside. And if you look at what is happening around this area, we will see and notice that price is presently oscillating right above the bullish trend line. And if you remember how I make emphasis on this kind of structure, the T's, it is very, very important that we wait and wait for significant confirmation to take advantage of a trend continuation in this kind of scenario. Why have I said that? There is a possibility that a breakdown of the trend line could send pride crashing. So because of this um, scenario, we really need to hold on on this pair and see how we can take advantage of either momentum that comes up as we head into the New York session. So in order to in order to make confirmation if the selling momentum will continue to the downside, we really need to see a breakout of this bullish trend line, a retest of the trend line or the key level we identified here at $118.50 then we look out for structures that support a trend continuation to the downside. That is the first scenario I'm talking about. That is, if we are going to sell this pair. However, if we are looking for any buy opportunity at this point, hold on a second, let me delete this. Um, we have this, uh, we have this trend line, this bearish trend line that we drew here yesterday. So, this is the scenario I'm talking about right now. If we look at what has been happening in the last 24 hours, we saw this bearish impulsive move, price doing a retest of $119.50, and we saw price come back down into the bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame yesterday. And there is a possibility that price could push for that hop, breaking this bearish trend line which also shares a confluence with a key level at $119.50 and a retest of structure with patterns that support a trend continuation on lower time frame, then we could take advantage of a bullish momentum to the upside. So now, if the bullish momentum is going to happen, then definitely want to be taking advantage of this move right above that 
K level at $119.50 that is after our confirmation is done. And now we will be having an entry that looks more like this. We have an entry that look more like this right above that key level and with our stop loss right below previous low structure or close to the neckline we identified here at $118.30. So with this scenario we have in here, we still have our take profit target remaining at $125 as that has not changed in the last couple of weeks now. So this is the scenario we have in here if we are going to take advantage of a bullish momentum. And then for the selling momentum, for the selling opportunity on this one, like I told you earlier, I want to see significant breakdown of that bullish trend line for the signal, then a confirmation in the form of a retest of this bullish trend line or this neckline here. Then we look for patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation to the downside. So for me on this one, our take profit target will still remain at this area. If we look left, we can see that we had a double bottom structure here. We had a double bottom structure here and we had the neck, the neckline of the double bottom structure around this area, which could be an area of rejection for buyers in the future. So the possibility that price could come back down after the breakdown of this bullish trend line retest of structure price will come back down into the neckline of the previous double bottom structure that we saw here and we could probably see price move to the upside from this area so these are the two scenarios we have in here on the us oil and let's hope that things work out as expected out of these two scenarios let's be on standby to take advantage of whatever move that happens as we head into the new york session so I don't know if you have I don't know if you have any questions or clarifications that you might want me to shed more light on at this point. Okay, okay, okay. Mijan, good morning. Hi, how are you? Ostanzi, hello to you. 715, I need to know how much the gold. Sorry, how, what do you mean by that? How much the gold? I don't understand. I would, I would appreciate if you could um, rephrase your statement there and um, make it more simpler for me to understand. Um, 499 is saying silver, XAG, okay. Let's see if that will work before we end the session today. Rupi77, hi, how are you? Good morning. Nazir, good. I, I guess you wanted to say good morning. Okay. 715, I don't to hear a lot. I don't understand what you mean by that. The guy looking out from, okay, no problem. Go to 7000, all right. So, um, in the absence of no question, I guess we just have to move on to the next pair so that we don't waste too much time on this one. So 